Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton. Today we're going to be looking at 10 different examples of contact pages, different layouts, different options that you can do, and hopefully this will inspire you to be more creative whenever you're building out those pages for your clients. I don't know about y'all, but by the time I actually get to the contact page in most of my projects, my inspiration and my creativity is just exhausted. I spend a lot of time on that home page making it look really amazing. Maybe the About Us page has really cool layouts. But seriously, by the time you work through each and every one of these pages and you get to that contact page, it's really easy to just throw a contact form on there and a phone number and just be done with it. But I want to challenge you that that is probably one of the major calls to action on most of your clients' websites or on the website that you're trying to build. People are gonna click on that contact page and they still need to have that trust factor there. They still need to have that inspiration there where they still wanna click and fill out the form. They wanna call. They're really excited to work with this company. So how do you keep that type of inspiration? I'm gonna show you some designs right now that will hopefully keep your creative juices running as you hit that contact page. We're gonna start super simple first and this one's clean as they come. I like it though because it still has a little bit of a wow factor with this fun little gift that's animated up here. Show me just a little bit of sparkle, gives that a little bit of life on the page, makes my heart really happy. Clean and simple form. That's it. There's an 800 number with hours of operation. And of course, they have their simple footer. Really clean, really basic. Another example of, of just clean, simple conversation is, is this. I just like how large the boxes are. I do like the icons living inside this form to kind of help give some visual guidance. And then again, submit. These are your options. You know, get in touch with us. That's it. That's how we want you to connect with us. Submit right there. Um, anything else going to be further down? You can sign up, sign up for free. That's that. I might be a little biased, but I also think that Webtegrity ourselves have a pretty great contact page. You have pictures of our location to kind of show what it's going to be like to work with us. You've got your form over here on the right that allows you some options that you can select a topic, uh, fill out the form, or you can give us a phone call if you'd like. Uh, our creative space, a little bit of direction here on how to get to us, our hours of operation, a review even, which I think is pretty great because you allow other people to read their experience of working with us. And if you wanted to, you can even add in a Google map living right here. Uh, and then there's your simple footer. So really easy. Uh, this is kind of a one third, uh, two thirds type of layout here, uh, just to show you a different example. And it doesn't always have to be 50-50 down the page, two columns, like this example. Now this example, uh, these people have two locations. So it just makes sense that they would have kind of a 50-50 split screen here. Walking down the page, you've now got your form and your phone numbers, uh, allowing people easy access. So. Different locations can be tricky on one single contact page, but I'll give you another example here uh, where they've got a main phone number, but if you click on their contact page, you'll come here and start to see the different locations. Again, with a one simple email form here uh, with a CAPTCHA on it, submit. Simple, easy, straightforward, nice, clean layout, still building confidence, still building trust. So other things that get complicated is when you have different departments to deal with. How do you separate those out? How do you give examples of how people can get to the right team member, right? So this is one of those ways you can do it. You can break it into different categories of who they're trying to connect with, and then maybe have that one major uh, 800 number or something like that that they can connect with you on. Uh, something like this, again, depending upon uh, who things need to go to, you might have to have different addresses, different email addresses. I'll give you another example of a cool way of doing this uh, in, in a few more as well. But this one has uh, addresses, phone, email. And then if you don't want that option, you can scroll down and it says to message us. You can fill out the form. It mentions their BBB uh, uh, reputation, which I think is great. Building that trust factor again. And they also have a Google map. So I like this idea. This is another one where, again, you've got a happy person with a headset on showing that we're going to connect with you. It's going to be a great experience to talk with us. Let's start a conversation. This is very casual. Uh, non-committal language, which is good so people don't get form fear and feel like they're uh, locked to working with you. Um, having conversation like, how can we help is great. So uh, you've got different links on here, different opportunities. 
if you need more content on a page, you know, if you've got a more complex type of client or project that you're building out, you've got a 50-50 split down the screen, uh, and then you also have their different locations. So I think this is a really great idea if you have a lot of complexity to happen on one page. This one's fun. This is more of a feedback, stay in touch type of contact page. Share your feedback. They can come here and just fill out the form really quickly. And then we also have the different locations that you can click on and a little modal pops up giving you a quick glimpse of pictures, hours of operation, and address and phone number to each location. So really easy, nice, clean layout, fun, different too. So I think that's something I, I like about this design. Now this is a very, very clean Cayenne kind of corporate style. Um, you've got very clean lines here, very easy to understand. Let's get in touch. You're going to fill out the information here, click submit. And then here's the, the other example I wanted to show you uh, when it comes to looking for a different staff member. So if there are multiple people, depending upon what department or who needs to be connected with, this is another really clean way to lay out those uh, individuals and their contact information. And lastly, and probably the most edgy that I found that gets me super excited and, and really inspired to share this with you is uh, this design that our team did. Uh, my name is, and you would enter your full name, and I would like to know more about or need help with, and you would use this drop down option here to have those options. Please contact me at, you would enter your phone number or email address, and then add more comments and click submit. This is something really fun that we're seeing more and more people participate in, especially if you have uh, a younger demographic as your audience. You also have the contact information there on the right. If this seems too confusing, they can contact uh, you here, the hours of operation reach out. You've got other options here. Again, this is more complexity whenever you have different departments or different types of services that you provide. Um, and then you can also find a branch near me and click visit us. So um, really, really clean, clean contact page, getting them to just do exactly what you're asking them to do. Just fill out a form and connect with us. Well, I hope that allows you to keep those creative juices flowing. And, and uh, maybe you'll go back and revisit some of your designs you've already done. Maybe it's an upsell opportunity. Call up your client and say, hey, I've got a much better idea for that contact page. What if I charge you 300 bucks and completely redesign it? You're going to love the new look. This could be an opportunity for you. I hope you all are having a great one. I'll see you all next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, everyone.